What's up everyone, it's Jason of course, and today we are finally doing the review on the Bunker Keen controller, aka the CTRL. Now of course, when we're doing this video right now, you can pick these up anywhere from 150 to about 250 plus. That depends if you want to get the quick feed, which is sold separately. If you want to get the dual ramp, which is sold separately. If you want to get the Virtue in charge, which is installed, of course, guess what? You figured it out. Sold separately. Okay. So I have shot multiple different markers while using this hopper an M2, a Lux, an LVR, a HKT Rex, my machine vapor. As you can see, it's gone through a lot. The hopper has not failed me yet, which is awesome. Anybody who spends that kind of money wants a good hopper. So I get the question on the field. Well, what makes it, what, what's so special about the control? So think about the name. The control is designed to help you utilize and achieve your most optimal shots. Now, what do I mean by that? When you turn this on, and of course the power button's on the back, you have an LED right here. The LED is going to help you to bring your marker up at the, you can say, the maximum performance level. Now, I don't mean the level of you, I mean the actual height level of your marker to ensure your shot is going to where it should. If your marker begins to tilt too much, the LED will become red, almost as a warning. And of course, everyone knows if you try shooting your marker like this, it ain't going to work. Okay? That's just how that goes. So, We'll go ahead and show this. So there it is. You can see the LEDs, and I do apologize it. But as you start lifting, you're going to see you get green, maybe red. If you go too far, you're going to get red. If you go too far, you're going to get red. Okay? The red will indicate you're not going to get the best shot. Now, also, if you're trying to shoot your marker like this, okay, or at a bad angle, I refer to it as the feed stack or the tube stack. The paint is not going to go in smoothly. So keep that in mind. As far as speed, this thing has been able to keep up with whatever legal shooting speed I use. I have to say the legal, which is most of the time the 12.5, the 10.5, 10.2, depending on your field. So keep that in mind. So the next thing I want to do with this is let's go ahead and weigh it. Now this does have the Virtue in charge, okay, which is not the standard battery pack that it comes with. So let's go ahead and bring out our brand new scale. Let's turn this on. Okay, so we'll go ahead and move it. So right now, as we can see, it is set to zero. Go ahead and put this on. It's got to make sure it gets level first. Okay, so right now, this hopper with the in charge is literally one pound. So there's your pounds and there's your ounces. So it's one pound. So we'll take it off. It goes back. So this is also a great time to actually talk about the disassemble of this. If you've had a Spire, an R2, an HKT, uh, TFX, an LVL, if you've had the original machine gear, the list goes on. All you do, lift the tab, top comes off. You're done. You can put that off to the side. In order, now remember, like I was saying, the ramps are do not come with the standard hopper. If you want the ramps, you have to buy them separately. So once you get to this point, all you do pull this tab forward or toward you, lift up, it comes out. There's your bottom. We'll move that to the side. And if you want to, you can even just take out the whole feed assembly. So this is what I refer to as your tube stack, your feed stack, your speed stack. Different people call it different names. So it's all good. Okay. So there is the virtue in charge. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove this. 
okay? So with this one, we actually have to also unplug it from the board. Well, let's go ahead and get that out. Okay, and it comes out like so. You definitely need to keep the screw though. So when you get this hopper, the Velcro and everything will already be pre-installed. For the purpose of this video, we are going to remove the Velcro because this is not, I repeat, not going to actually be used on the field. So as you can see, just with the snaps, it's in there okay. So we're not going to put the screw in. Actually, you know what? We'll put the screw in just for argument's sakes. If anyone says that adds 0.17 of an ounce, okay? So we'll go ahead and line up the threads. Cool, threads are good. Screw that on in. Cool, that's it. So we're gonna put the standard AA batteries. And we're gonna go ahead and plug it back into the board. And we'll turn it on. There you go, lights are indicating, we're good. Turn that back off. And let's put it back together. So all we gotta do is reverse. Now when you put it back together, you will have a little groove or I call them a nipple, okay? That's just me, I'm not just, just saying that you actually need to tilt in, snap in, get the top, same thing. You have the groove of the nipple. You put it in. Now remember, with the in charge, this was one pound. Okay, and just in case, we'll turn it on again. To indicate we did not monkey with anything, it has the standard batteries, and here's the in charge, which we'll keep in plain sight. So same thing, we're gonna go ahead and turn the scale back on. Okay, and as you can see, it is zero. So let's put it back on. So now it is one pound and 1.5 ounces. So when you use the in charge, it takes down the hopper to one pound. Now, realistically, I can feel the difference because now the back is more heavy than the front. With the in charge, not as much. So if you want to get it super light, get the in charge if you're fine with the weight go for it okay so overall what do i think of it i enjoy it it's a good little hopper but i have a small pet peeve okay so we're going to set this right here and like i mentioned if you're new to the videos thanks for watching you know i have always used my Vulcan switch for the longest time. As you can see, the feed neck is just, or the quick feed, it's, it's seen better days, okay? Here's the thing. When I bought the switch, it came with the feed neck or the quick feed. It came with an expansion to actually make this a 220 hopper. It came with a ramp it even came with a 50 caliber conversion kit that's actually why it's called the switch all this was included at a whopping 100 dollars brand new okay so the only pet peeve i have with any of these hoppers if vulcan can do it why can't bunker kings why can't any of these hopper companies make the accessories part of it instead of adding more and more and more? So, for example, the dual ramps cost $12, $13. The quick feed, depending on where you buy it, can cost anywhere from $25 to $45. So, you keep adding and adding and adding the cost to the hopper versus you get everything, okay? And yeah, this is definitely not the most quietest hopper, but it never let me down, okay? So that's really my only pet peeve is when it comes to a price point, 
It's a great hopper. I am not going to argue. It's a great hopper. It definitely is super light, but if you're going to be buying a name brand hopper like this, you need the quick feed or the dual ramps included. You don't have to have the in charger included, but add something else. Now you can buy it as a whole package, which is about 250, 230, depending on you go, but you still have the whole Vulcan switch package for hundred bucks. So there's a little bit of a price difference there, but that's just my opinion. I'm just sharing the facts. Overall, I think they're both great hoppers. They're both light, so we can even, you know, let's just weigh the switch too while you're at it. Now remember, this is not the 220, this is just the standard. A 0.1 ounce more. That's it. You know, and even for argument's sake, we'll go ahead. Do, 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 do. I got to deactivate this one. Okay. I will even install the extra cap for this right now. So there you go. As you can see, the hopper has now doubled and oh, not doubled, but it's gotten way bigger. Let's go ahead and measure it now. One pound, 1.2. Okay. So if you're in the possibility field of buying a new hopper, I would recommend the Bunker Keens Control. If you're happy with your switch or your HK or your die, then stay as it is. If you want something lighter, you want something that's more easier to completely field strip when you need to clean it, that took what, 10 seconds? Then definitely go for the Bunker Kings Control Hopper. Other than that, thank you so much for watching as always. Definitely like the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so any of my videos you will get instantly notified and also check out our new Instagram. Until then, thank you so much for watching. You mean the world to me. This is Jason Wright Paintball here. That's our Instagram too with the Bunker Kings Control Hopper. Thank you very much.